Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm happy to see you again with another exciting tutorial about remote sensing and landscape architecture. This time I will quickly show you how to acquire uh, or download uh, LiDAR point clouds for Australia, for different locations in Australia. Um, this is a service provided by Elvis Geoscience. Elvis means Elevation Visualization Portal that it is part of Geoscience Australia. As you can see here, the website, it's, it's a portal that is free for everyone. You don't need to pay for this sort of information. It's elevation.fsdf.org.au. And I will put the link in the video description. So what I'm gonna show you is how to, you can get this data, how you can visualize it quickly online, and how you, can uh, also visualize it with Cloud Compare uh, or QGIS, etc. So, but I have all the other videos on how to do that. So, um, this video links in some way with the other videos. So, here we go. Now, as you can see, there are uh, multiple layers here. I will show you what are these layers. So, you have DMs, digital elevation models, one to five meters, one second arc, which is equivalent to 30 meters. This is available for the whole world because these are the SRTM data products. We have point clouds, and you can see here the extent of the point clouds. We have aerial imagery, bathymetry as well. Plenty of bathymetry, 3,200 meters depth. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just focus on the point clouds. There is all New South Wales have point clouds, different data sets for different years. But um, now we're going to focus on Adelaide, which I am based. Um, and let's go to this. This is now Adelaide, the Port Adelaide River. And um, let's imagine we want a piece of, I don't know, information across the whole entire land. So what we do is we close the layers here. We can draw a rectangle, we can draw a polygon, or we can type the coordinates. But it's easier with the bounding box just create a bounding box of the area that I want. And then the website will automatically will start checking the data that is available. We have DEMs. This is the source, South Australia government. This is Geoscience, Geoscience Australia, Digital Earth Australia. So we have DEMs and you can see the DEMs are 2019. This corresponds to the grid index or ID. So you can see that there is not they are not available for the entire region or area. Let's imagine we want some information on this corner. I will try to reduce this a bit for this corner. Well, we don't have that information in these DMs, but we have also point clouds and also the point clouds corresponds to Salisbury. Some other data is unreleased or restricted. I have access to this data, but not through the portal. So what you have to do, if you want to get access, you have to contact the Department of Environment and Water in this case, who are the custodians of this data set. Um, so this is Geoscience Australia information. You have DEMs for this area. That's good. I want that corner, the DEM. Um, so this is the one, four, three. Okay. So we just click there and we added the data set. We have plenty of data sets. So that's why we have two lists here. So this is the one meter. Then I want the point clouds. They are different orthometric and ellipsoidal. Ellipsoidal are those that consider the curvature of the earth. Okay. So um, these are 2011. As if you go to the orthometric, you have for 2009. Okay. And 2000 and 2011 as well. Okay. So let's go for the 2011 orthometric. And let's try to find the one that I want. It should be here, this one. Okay, just click. Then what we're gonna do is simply put download the selected data sets. You need to put your email, your industry, in this case is education, I'm not robot, and start extract of results. So you will get an email. And once you get the email, you can download the data. I already have the data downloaded. It will show you here just to speed up the process. I downloaded is this. I extracted the WinRAR and this is the, the folder. I have the DM. The DM comes like this. You have to extract it as well. And then we go to the point clouds. 
the point cloud is ellipsoidal in this case, and then we go for the point cloud that we want. We don't need this. This didn't come. These are the three that come. So it's less with Z, less. So that means this is a bit compressed. So it may not have all the capabilities that we need. So we need to transform this into a better format, which is the last with S or ASC, which is the as grid. Oh, how we do that? We download Cloud Compare. Cloud Compare is a comprehensive software. It's uh, open source. You can give a donation, which is I strongly suggest. This is a fantastic software to visualize and inspect data. So when you open it, you just click here, you choose the format, and it opens multiple formats. So what you're going to do is here, you just apply all. This we're going to do is the coordinates are too big in the original. So um, it will be translated or rescaled into the Cloud Compare a global shift uh, coordinate system. It doesn't affect your georeference data at all. It's just a way to translate the information from the original source into the Cloud Compare, let's say, uh, interface. So just to all. If you want to add another, let's say, a point cloud, let's imagine you open and you want to add the another another grid, which is this one, and then you put open. When you go to apply all, then you put here the input. You need to put last input, not suggested. Okay, last input. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get the same coordinates from the previous importation, and it will be copied. So it will be added here next to it. If or if it is um, or if it is an overimposition, it will have the same special uh, location in Cloud Compare. Otherwise, you cannot stitch, you cannot merge. So you need to be sure that you're using the last input to import the new data set if this data set is overlapping or is um, connecting in some way or is the neighbor of this data set. Okay, that's an important thing to consider. So now we have the data set that you can see, you can go to classification, see it there, the classification. Uh, there is one way to visualize this in a better way. Um, you just go here in these tabs and then the name is IDOM Lighting OpenGL Shader. What it's gonna create is a much sharper edges for your, much sharper edges for your point clouds. So you will be able to visualize it better. You can see the shapes, etc. So once we've got this, we're going to save it in two formats. One is LAS with S, OK? So we're sure we can put just cloud just to differentiate. And then it will be in the original resolution. And also, we can save this as an ASIC grid or XYZ. We choose it. Oh, sorry. I made a mistake here. Choose file, save, and now we save as an ASCII. Once you choose this, there are multiple, you need to, in, in, there are multiple formats here. You need to add the format that you want. So you need to indicate here. So in my case, it's ASC, because otherwise can be X, Y, Z, or can also be text, or can be also um, um, PTS. So, ASC, and we save. So here you put the, in, uh, you save it in different methods. Um, there are points, PTS or ASC. It will be, I will show you how it looks. It will be downloaded in, in, with this information. It's a comma separated value or similar to comma separated. So you can use comma, semicolon, space or tabulation. I keep it at comma. Then you have point, color, um, scalar field and normal. So it will contain all this information. Okay, just keep it like that simple and we save it. This is very useful if you want to import your point clouds to Rhino and Grasshopper. And there are plugins using um, that capable to import, like for example, Docofoss or Bison and Rhino itself. What happened is like the ASI um, is a is a format that is most you uh, or is, is used in some plugins. Other ones can be text, and another plugins you 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 need uh, last etc. Okay, 
So this is just to show you how to, you can import this in different format and how to visualize it quickly. I have plenty of other tutorials on how to manipulate segment, colorize, etc. In, in Cloud Comper, I recommend you to have a look at. So what we, once we, we have done this, we can go to different online um, websites. One is Plus.io, developed by MIT. This, I uh, have a very comprehensive video tutorial on this, so I'm not going to uh, revive review this today, but I'm going to the online uh, LiDAR Point Cloud Viewer. This was developed, I think, by Rapid Lazo. Okay, so this is how it looks when you open it the first time. I will put this, this link in the description. You have here, this is a, a sample. So while you here, you have support formats. That's why I open in Cloud Compare to translate it into a different format because it doesn't read last we set. Only ASPRS, last 1.2 and XYZ. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna choose the file. Here we have the cloud in last 3D model. Then we uh, can choose the format, in this case it's last, but then we need to click on read header. We'll get this ugly thing. So you have defined the bounding box. And then we need to put render and it will start rendering the whole set of points. It's to visualize them quickly. These points were not captured or, or retrieved using RGB colors. Otherwise you will have RGB and it will display the RGB. What you have here is just an elevation. Look, you can choose intensity, you can choose classification, very similar to the one here, classification. And you can choose also elevation and intensity. Okay, elevation color is like that simple. And then we can choose also the size of the points. So you can see the ship here and other elements. Here you have a top view and has the same capabilities to display if you want to compare with different sizes. Okay, this is the elevation. So you can identify the location of the warehouses, the industrial sites, the power lines, the water, the, the chips. And you have plenty of information about the system is PDL, PDAL, and the, the information of the number of first returns and, and second and third and fourth, which is determined what type of surface it is, the X and Y and Z values, etc., and the size. Okay, this is one. I, I want to quickly show you one that I have here that um, it has a color. So I will try to show you here another one that I have that has colors, where it is, this one. Again, you need to put read header, render. So it's red, it has more points, have a larger number of points, 11 million. As you can see, you can animate it, you can rotate it, it's, just leave it like that. But then you can choose the RGB. Oh, it didn't come with the RGB, it didn't pop up. This is very weird because I assign an RGB to this model. Maybe I made a mistake. Oh, there's no RGB. So this is what you see, okay? This, I didn't assign an RGB for this one, but this is the way to display a very simple model. And then so you can inspect it and you can have an idea how it looks, if it is the correct um, file that you need or not. Very simple, okay? There are other configurable options here. I leave you to read. Now, we downloaded the, the point cloud. We already changed the name, the format, and we open and visualize it. And also we use this sort of quick tool to visualize it in a better way. Just create this sharpness around the point clouds. Now we have DM as well. If we go to the geoscience of the DM, one meter is a TIFF. So we can go to QGIS. In QGIS, I have this uh, visualizer, which is the QGIS 23JS. It's just a plugin. You go to plugins, manage plugins. And once you add the plugin there, 
why it's taking a bit. Uh, you go to um, search, you can put all, and then you put Q, GIS. What was the name? I forgot it was, I think. You need to put the name is, in this case, QGIS 2, 3, GIS. it is already there. You can reinstall it, uninstall it, upgrade it, etc. And it's already there. So it's very simple software. It opens like this. It's a flat plane in this case. What I'm going to do is I need to go to my downloads. Geoscience, DEMs, one meter, and this one, and add it to the scene. Projected in the proper one. So you can see here the elevation is only DEM, so it's only the ground. Um, we need to close this and reopen it. Now that we have this, it's building, as you can see, is there. So you can use now the elevation information. I think it's relatively flat. That's why you don't see a huge difference, but you see a slight difference here between the water and the land. Okay, so this is a rapid way to visualize. You have other DMs, then you can easily change. If you change here, you can change here the exaggerations, etc. And I have another video tutorial on this, which just to quickly show you the information. So the video tutorial of today was just to focus on visualis rapid visualization and how to download data from LVG Science free of charge for any of your projects throughout Australia. Um, I wish you all the best. Try, play with the very um, interesting tools. Check my other videos and what I'm showing, how to visualize them, how to slice them, and how to manipulate these data sets. And so see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.